Whoa, whoa, whoa. So right now, I'm excited. Um, I finally got my package that I need. And I'm going home now to collect my solar charger controller. You know, Victron. Yeah, it's a uh, 120. You will see it much better when I start to install. Um, maybe I, I think I waited um, maybe three weeks or a month for it. You know, because when you have to order it, it's not available in my country. I came, I think yesterday, I did it for yesterday, and I get it today. And I'm gonna install it at my home here, sweet home. I already have charger. I mean, I already have my solar panels. This is the trace that I have here. But it is a, it's not an MPPT. It's, oh boy. I can't remember the name for the... <sighs> yeah, so right now this is my um, Big Trend uh, MPP120 Meaning it can take up to 100 volts DC from the solar panels and um, up to 20 amps It have battery Positive, negative, PV, negative, positive. It also have a connection for the load. You, know, you can hook up a light bulb in this. So you, can, you can do different um, with this load to turn off, turn on automatically using different switches. And these are the LEDs. It says green is for float, yellow, absorption, and bulk, you have a blue. I prefer the green. I prefer the float to be bl to be blue. I like the color blue. <laughs> have the heat sink. It's fairly maybe less than a hundred, less than a pound. Yeah. I have my breakers here. Actually, I, I have to label my breakers because I cannot remember them right about now. But I know this was for the inverter. My inverter got damaged. Well, five hundred watts, three hundred watts inverter. Um, and get damaged, so I have to get a new one. Uh, this is for the battery. This is from the battery, and this is the PV. Yeah. So now it is no power going. Um, remove these screws. Actually, this. Charger is a. Um, it can handle more current and it can handle more voltage than the Victron. This is um. This can handle up to 45 amps and up to 125 volts DC. Yeah, but the reason I'm removing it is because it does not give me the full power that I need to charge the battery much faster. Um, it match the charging voltage to the battery voltage and thus far limiting the power so it does not charge fast does not charge the battery fast enough you know yeah so that's why i got the um the victron if i'm going wrong guys you can also put a comment and correct me okay Woo <laughs> yeah, they got they got the guy fast as well yeah he have a system as well <laughs> Okay, so now let me see where this to go. Um, wow, this look cute and nice, huh? Right, I want to put it right there, right. Oh boy, my, my cables. Okay, you can reach. Okay, I'm gonna put it here so the cable don't have to stretch too much. Make sure it look plumb or level. I'm gonna connect my battery.
Okay. Um, I did not. I connected the PV side first. Of a sort. Of a sort. <laughs> blah blah blah. Yeah, I damaged a solar charger, a second hand charger by connecting the PV section first. When I put on the power, it damaged the charger. Oh boy. So we have to connect the, the battery first. And this is the battery. Right. Guys, this is what you call free electricity <laughs> from the sun. Actually, it's not free because you have to purchase these um, these devices. But you know what I mean. I will not be paying because I am living off grid. Yeah. And it's too expensive for the utility to bring um, electricity for me. So, I have to invest in a solar system. Battery PV, my load. Maybe later on I will put it. Next time I will put it, my load. Um, what's this? What is this? Okay, so this wire that you see in here, this is for my inverter. Yeah, this is for my inverter. Let me give you a closer look nice huh only this crisscross wire here oh boy anyhow it's it's okay maybe later on i will you know so let's put on a battery for us batteries on and then my solar is on Woohoo! i'm so happy guys to get this um solar controller so I already have the Bluetooth set up on my phone. I already downloaded my Vic, the app for Vic Trend. And I will be going into the app right now. Yes, yeah, so if you're wondering once again, um, this is my inverter. Um, this is a relay that I use to control the sunlight. I mean, this is the relay that I had that was controlling the photovoltaic and the outside too. When it's evening, the light will come on, you know. And this is my energy meter. My AC energy meter, that's my panel over there. So I will be updating you guys when I get my um my inverter. And this is the um DC energy meter you're looking at here. As you can see right now I'm having 14.3 volts, 1.15 amps, 16, 16 watts, charges 100 percent Nice. But later on, I'll be updating to um, a Victron amp. What do you call it? Victron amp meter. Not too sure, but the correct term. Yeah. So when I get my Victron amp, I will remove this as well. Right now, it went from bulk to um, absorption and then to green float it just it's floating right now 
meaning it is fully charged and um, it's just relaxing it's not taking much current at this stage yeah that is nice that is nice so um this is my nice <laughs> yeah so i have here my photovoltaic switch this will be controlling my lights automatically on the outside on and off so guys if you enjoyed this video give it a like and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed us yet and just see this woo 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 wow the sun is very hot out here and the light as well as have me the light from the white reflecting oh boy and the shades so anyhow this is my photovoltaic switch um this is ac this one is ac but my um inverter damaged so i did not use an ac anymore i'm gonna replace it with, with this dc um photovoltaic switch so we have ac and we have dc so my dc photovoltaic switch is already installed and these are the cables um next time i'll be putting a trunk in over these but you know i cannot wait so if you like this video please give it a like and a subscribe and if you want to have an installation, you can just contact me solar boys. Woo woo woo. <laughs>